everyone, empathic, sensitive souls, this is Denise. Happy Friday! It is so exciting that it's Friday again. You notice I did not get on early this morning. Why? Because I took another day off of work. I know, it's crazy. But here's the problem. My anniversary date is September 16th. And we can only carry 40 hours over from year to year. And normally in January, I pretty much set up my vacation that I'm going to take throughout the whole year. And it usually equals the number of hours that I have for vacation. I don't get sick days or sick hours or personal time. We just get straight vacation time. But my anniversary date is in September which means I get the next reload of hours in September. Even though I take a week of vacation in December, that doesn't count for this year, it counts for next year. I get confused. Every single year I do this to myself. This year, I have to use 104 hours before September 15th. You would think I would know by now, all these years I have been there, that I do this every year. But it always comes as a surprise that it's August and oh my gosh, I got all these vacation hours I need to use up. I don't necessarily take a lot of vacation days throughout the year because, again, it's that mindset of oh my gosh, what if something happens? It's my insurance policy that if I get sick for an extended period of time, I can use my vacation hours. Because, again, I don't get sick time. So... I always wait to the last minute and then that just makes the boss cranky and co-workers cranky and but that's okay if I should know it by now you would think they would know that I do this every year by now just being smarty pants I hope your Friday is going fabulous mine is wonderful it is raining outside it is only 76 degrees. It says heavy rain, but it's not a heavy rain. I would out without an umbrella. My hair doesn't look too bad, a little crazy, but you know, what else is new? It's that's how, that's the way of the world. What we got to go this way, this way, this way. There we go. No, nope, that's worse. Ah! Good enough. It's hard to do it when you're reversing the screen. So it's okay. We're, we're good. We'll we'll be we'll be like alfalfa today. It is a gorgeous day out. I don't care that it's raining. I love the rain. It broke the heat wave. I think yesterday at this time we were already 85 degrees. So thank goodness we finally have rain. Not that I want rain per se because my lawn is growing and now we're going to have to mow again. But that's okay. That's a whole nother topic. My question to you is, have you been saying the morning mantras? This week was, excuse me, this week was you deserve all the love the universe has to offer. Or I deserve all the love the universe has to offer as I say it to myself. And it starts to sink in. The more you repeat the mantras, the more they sink in. The more I get used to, you know what, gosh darn it, I am more than good enough. I give myself permission to set down those habits that don't serve my best and pick up new positive ones. I am worth it. I, I, I'm perfect in this moment, as perfect as I'm ever going to get. It'll never be this moment again, so why can't I be perfect for me? My definition of perfect. Do I still have wrinkles and baggy skin and overweight and... My stomach's going to growl and the alarm is going to go off and I've got funny hair. Well, sure, but why not? Why can't that be perfect enough for me right now at this moment? I deserve all the love the universe has to offer. Why not? Why can't we accept that? We are of the universe. We're carbon-based material. We're from the stars. Why can't we be set in our minds okay with I deserve all the love the universe has to offer when you don't feel good about yourself it's hard to accept that but the more you say it the easier it becomes good morning Susan 
it's probably almost lunchtime for you. I decided to sleep in this morning. I took some self-care this morning. It was nice and cool and dreary. The sun wasn't shining and oh, it was a perfect day to sleep in. It would have been even better if I would have gotten up, grabbed a nice cup of coffee and zoned listening to a meditation, but I just decided to nap. And that's okay because today's going to be a busy one. I've got the kitchen to finish decluttering. And then since it's cooler today before the heat kicks in again next week, I'm going to tackle my laundry room because my laundry room, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to be very insulated. So when it's hot, it's hot. And when it's cold, it's cold. And it's not bad if I'm cold and I can open up the door and let the heat come in. But then the air kicks on and then I get even colder. Crazy stuff. But that's what we have going on for this weekend is I'm still decluttering. I'm still working on it. Slow but sure, working my way through. Eventually, I will get upstairs to the craft room. But that's out of sight, out of mind. That's going to be, I think I may need a whole nother week of vacation to tackle that craft room. That and maybe some recycle bins. That might help. I hope you all have a glorious weekend. We're supposed to have a little cooler weather, maybe a storm roll through. I was surprised it was raining this morning. I walked outside and I'm like, whoa, where, where did this come from? It wasn't forecasted. So there was a nice change of pace from that oppressive, monstrous heat wave we had. So it was very nice. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Make every day count. You deserve all the love the universe has to offer. Never forget that. You are so worth it. You are more than good enough. You can do this. Bye, everyone. Take care for now.